Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we are going to be making some bacon cheeseburger bombs. It was an excellent idea, but a poor execution. Please watch until the end to see what I mean. Um, so we're going to start off with some bacon. I The bacon that I buy is the off cuts from Walmart. It's like Four fifty or five dollars for sixteen ounces. Um, there, some some slices are super thin, but some slices are thicker. You know, off cuts. So I just instead of making strips and frying up singular strips, I just put them in a pile so that they're about the size of the hamburger that I'm going to be making. Fry them up that way. Um, tastes just as good. And with the price of bacon nowadays, like, holy tamale, guys, the price of bacon is going crazy right now. Normally, I like to let you guys listen to the sizzle, but um, not this time. Sorry. See how beautiful those are turning out? I do have my temperature uh, a little bit too high. It's darkening the pan a little more than I would like, but rest assured, none of this bacon ended up burned or anything other than exactly the way I wanted it cooked. So he, we, here we are. I've got my ground beef, uh, ground chuck, and this beautiful block of cheese. So we're going to take an extra thick slice, cut it into quarters. And I cut some thinner slices. I was thinking I might um, put some cheese on top of the hamburgers after they were all done cooking. But I ultimately ended up changing my mind. So we're going to put some aside. Cook, cook a little bit um, off to the side in a separate pan. And then we're going to split this up into four. And then we're going to hollow them out a little bit. Wash my hands. Because I don't want to be touching the cheese with uh, fingers that had just touched the meat. So we're going to drop some chunks of cheese inside this meat. And my chunks of cheese were a little bit too thick and I was having a hard time making some patties. But I do have to say that this was only about three quarters of a pound. I got four burgers out of like let about two thirds of a pound. So we're just going to take the same pan that we fried up our bacon in and drop our burgers down in there. And then you guys can sit back and pretend that you hear the sizzle. I mean, I don't know. It's sizzling pretty good though. You can see it sizzling. Put a little salt on that. Just a little. Enhance the flavor. Now let's flip these. See how beautiful that is. Alright, so now we're just going to uh, drop those burgers onto a bun. Put some condiments on there. Uh, you see I got that chunk of onion and some bacon on top. And boom, look at all that cheese. So the poor execution was the fact that I couldn't make the hamburgers big enough to fit the bun because the piece of cheese was too thick. Um, even though it was just kind of a small chunk, it, it was too thick to 
to make a nice patty. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.